Hi everyone. Today is day 38. My wedding. I put the tally and tied a knot and uh, in Gurair and when we reached uh, Treshur, some of the people missed the direction and they they got lost. So they all, my brother also missed it. So they all went uh, back to Palikuna. But uh, my sister was with me, so she had a grand meal with all this uh, trimmings of Sadhya, the grand occasion for a wedding, which was great. My in-laws were very nice and I had a great time that day. And uh, according to our customary, it was, uh, we were supposed to return with the bri bride to my house uh, in Palikuna. So we had to wait for the train. I took her, I didn't have the car, I had gone by train and some of the people had gone by train and uh, we, we took uh, the, the taxi took us to uh, the place where I was staying, uh, stopping until I caught the train at night, middle of the Friday night. It was, uh, I think, about one o'clock at night or something. We catch the train and or eleven thirty at night or twelve o'clock, something like that. Caught the train at night and. We were uh, fooling around in that house and there was, some, there was a young girl there as well, she was trying to peep what we were doing. Anyway, I got in the train. Our first night, we were in the trains, second class, but I am sleeping up on the upper deck and she's sleeping on the bottom deck. There was another guy sleeping on the other side. And I only held her hand. We can't do anything else. It was our first night. And come morning, we reached uh, Calicut. We woke up. And uh, uh, there was tea, coffee going around. So I asked her, do you want a cup of coffee? She said, no. So <laughs> I bought one cup of coffee and I drank the whole thing because she said no. According to the principle here in UK, if somebody says no thanks, that means no, they don't want it. And she called me a dushten that I didn't give her <laughs> the coffee. I said, I asked you if you wanted and you said no. So, but that's the custom in Kerala, it seems. They say no, so it means yes, okay. And then when we were reaching Palikonu, they were bursting crackers. They burst crackers and uh, that night uh, we had a sadhya a feast in uh, our house as well. My mother and father was there, greeted my wife and uh, <clears throat> We slept upstairs. Now the funny thing is, you have to shout to people downstairs to off the light upstairs. There was no switch or anything. It was a very old house and they had just put some electricity, that's all. But, so I shouted from up to, turn off the light. My sister had uh, was there as well. And my brother was there, youngest brother. And they were all making fun of me and all that. And uh, shouting and yapping and laughing and later rejoicing. And I could hear them. There was only one big door, uh, steps coming up and it was like a big hall upstairs in the it was the attic room. Flowers in the attic, you say. Anyway, we had a 
good night, of course. And the uh, following morning, she was all shy, shy, came down and I don't remember, she may have, I think she brought me a cup of milk, which we didn't, well, I don't know the tradition, we had that tradition as well, bring the husband a cup of milk and we are supposed to share it. I don't know if I shared it either. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, I don't quite remember that part. Anyway, uh, come next morning we had to visit all the families around the place. So uh, we went visiting all the places and got the blessings. And uh, uh, my mother's, father's, my grandfather was a, a Brahmin and he was the head of the place and he had passed away so, but uh, I was supposed to go and see pay my respect there. So I took my wife and my mother by train to Payanur and uh, went to visit the this mana uh, where they call the family uh, palace like place and uh, my wife had the best meal she could ever think of and it was fantastic she said and the karumaka the pickle mango pickle oh it was so great and she loved it well when we returned back to Palikuna, she was trying to learn the language of Palikuna. It was, the dialogue was completely different. And I didn't know anything better because for me, as long as you say toilet or bathroom is there, that's enough for me. And do you want to eat food? That's fine. But not everything else, is. I didn't know how to speak and I didn't understand what they were saying. So it didn't matter to me. But for my wife, when they say things like, Eliad the Chardanam. Chardanam means throw in, uh, in Malabar language. And in Trishur, it means to jump. Now, if you take the Ella, means leaf and jump. That's what she thought it was and then she she had to stay in uh, uh, there for a while and uh, after a while she was taken back to uh, Trishur and somebody took her to Chennai Madras to uh, go and get a visa with all the fair, my photocopy of the passport and and uh, that's all. We only had registration certificate, but we didn't have a marriage certificate. I didn't know about this. I thought registration certificate is enough. Uh, that was the marriage certificate. And so I left her with all the problems. Uh, she got all the visa and everything done in uh, Chennai and um, I had paid my cousin, uh, friend, her cousin, some money to bring her to uh, back to England. They were living in Birmingham and he was living in Birmingham. So. He arranged all the details when he came in, uh, when he went to India in December. And uh, his wedding was in January of uh, January, I think. And they returned in February, but he had arranged everything. He made, some, uh, made sure that his wife's passport, everything was ready and uh, got the visa and everything ready. I didn't have time, I had to return quick. 
or I'll lo lose my job. I see, I see. Anyway, I had to return fast. I couldn't go with her to Chennai to get a visa or anything. But uh, my friend got the visa and all for the wife. So they, all three of them, they came by f flight from uh, God knows from uh, uh, from Ernakulam uh, naval base to Bombay and from Bombay they stopped a couple of days and they got the tickets and came to Heathrow. I was still working, working hard to pay off my debts. Anyway, I did pay off my debts. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. God bless. Take care of yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. That's the best thing of them. And if more people like to add on, give, give your comments. I don't mind comments, bad or good. Just say hi. Bye for now. Take care. And don't get uh, caught in COVID. Bye for now. Bye.